Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Four, and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about this Pelican kayak. Now, this is the Motion 100X Angler, which is also known as the Sentinel and also known as the Castaway. Now, this is the most budget-friendly kayak I think I've ever dealt with. Now, what I mean by that is for under $300 rigged up, this kayak is ready to hit the water. So if you're in the market, want to get on the water, want to try this out, stick with us. I'm going to tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about this boat. This boat has been awesome. It's a great little, we've used it more as a loner kayak for when people come to go out with us, when we're taking some of our scouts out, they wanna try it out. This one's one, when it comes to a sit on top kayak, that's very cheap, um, I, and I don't mean cheaply made, it's just very budget friendly, under $300, like I said. But this thing right here, when, when people are looking at getting into kayaks, they say, which, you know, should I get a sit in or a sit on? Now, sit in sides are going to be, they're going to be a little easier to paddle, a little easier to maneuver, things like that. They're just going to have a lower center of gravity. But when you flip them, they turn into a bathtub. As opposed to a sit on top, when you flip it and it fills up with water, when you flip it back over, those scupper holes that I'll show you here in a minute in the front and the back, all that water is going to funnel back there and get out of the boat and you're going to be back to normal. First off, this kayak is wonderful. It's nine feet, six inches, which makes this a very maneuverable boat. 114 inches in length or 289 centimeters has a weight capacity of 275 pounds so for the people that are I'm, I'm six feet weigh just under 200 pounds and this boat is great for me I've enjoyed it a lot uh, the height or thickness is 13 and a quarter inches the weight is 44 pounds or 19 kilograms and is made from two pieces of polyethylene plastic now, it does have a great warranty from a company like Pelican, which has just been nothing. I've never had any issues with their customer service or anything like that. And this is a great way to get started on the water. Or if you're like us and you have kids or scouts and you want them to be able to get on the water without breaking the bank, $300, this one's going to get you out there. That's Let's get started. One. Now, this boat, like I said is a copy they make several versions of this they make the castaway and they also make the sentinel both of these are sold at different places tractor supply things like that but the motion is sold from walmart that's who they have geared it towards that's who they sell it for very nice very easy um, very budget friendly uh, starting up front we've got ourselves on the bow we've got ourselves a carry handle paracord little plastic t-handle i know a lot of people that install handles going across this works perfectly fine. You don't have to do any of that. This is just going to work just like it is. Up here into the uh, front bow storage area, you've got yourself a little stretchable bungee net that stretches over, allows you to keep your dry bag, your lunch, your cooler, like small lunch box. Things like that work great up here. I usually just throw my dry bag up here with my camera stuff in it, and it works fine for that. This little area right here before I shoot is exactly like I was talking about. When this boat fills up with water, it's all gonna funnel back through here, not gonna get caught by a ridge. Very well designed for a boat at the, in this price range. Very cool. Let's go back a little further. Next, we got our footwell area. This is where your feet are gonna be. We've got four different stationary uh, foot pegs that you can put your feet on. Very nice, very comfortable. You're not really going to notice. The difference between the castaways and the Pelican uh, the Pelican castaway and the Sentinel is the Sentinel has an adjustable foot peg. It moves. This one, they're stationary. They're built in. They're not going anywhere. But this is also half the price. This is like $100 cheaper than the castaway. $200 cheaper than the Sentinel. Up here, we have our storage area. Little area. Got a little bungee to tie it down. Holds great, holds a lot of lot of stuff, allows you just a safe place to put your keys, even though personally I do not recommend taking your keys on the water ever. Find somewhere to put them, but don't take your keys on a kayak trip. It's just bad news. Uh, back here we have two scupper holes. Now those are what we use to drain our boat. That's where when water comes in, that's where water goes out. It's that simple, very cool. Now back here we do have a built-in ruler we also have some built-in diamond-plated traction pad uh, stuff in the plastic. 
which just makes it where when it's wet, your feet are gonna be a little better off and you're not gonna be as, as slippery, which is what we want. Very cool, nice little, little addition, not anything huge, but it's a key point. Little things like that are what make boats better. So let's keep going. Like I said, this is a used kayak. This kayak gets used quite often. Um, back here, we have our paddle holders. There's one on each side. Right here, you have yourselves a carry handle. When you've got it on its side, and you're trying to carry it by yourself, one-handed, just grab it right here, put your paddle on, carry both pieces, throw your life jacket on, carry it down to the water, you're good to go. The only negative I had about this little boat was I wish it had another set of scupper holes right there. Yes, that does turn it into where your butt's always wet, but right now, once your boat's wet, that's water, water's just gonna stay there. It's always gonna be wet, but that was the only negative I have about this boat. This boat right here for $300, that's the only thing I have negative about it at all. So, honestly. The seat itself is very easy to adjust. You just have these little pull handles and it just pulls this back if you want a little more support and it works for that. You also have a couple of pad eye tie-offs. Those are for other, some people use them to tie off for the rod holders. Some people use them to use aftermarket seats. You do have two rearward, rear facing rod holders, which work great because they put it out in like kind of a 30 degree angle, which means if you're using like a camera boom, the camera boom is going to be back over here and away from you. I'll show you a picture of, um, from one of mine, from my other, one of my uh, Catch 120s. You can see a good video, good picture of how it sits it and works really good for that. Um, next, we have the rear cargo area. The rear cargo area, nice, bright, high vis, very durable bungee. As you see, this was orange at one point. Got yourself a little a couple of cargo hooks, two more scupper holes. In this whole little area, there's also an access port here. You can put in a dry hatch if you wanted to. Doesn't come with one, but I've seen a lot of people. That's usually what these little circles are for. There's a little indentation, meaning you can cut it out. Very cool. Now, this is the Ram X polyethylene plastic. Very cool stuff. And then last but not least, we have our rear drain plug. Now, this is one of the... Also, I guess I guess I would say it's a negative. Um, it's just a little foam insert that you just kind of drop in. And it keeps water out. Doesn't really need to be anything else than that. All you need is to be able to stand it up. If it gets water in it, drain the water out. Got a rear carry handle back here in the back. But as you see, this little cargo area works really, really well. You can put a cooler back here, put your fishing crate, anything like that, and allow you to have great time on the water. Now, this is one of the big differences in this and the other car, um, kayaks that I've been mentioning, the Sentinel and the, um, the Castaway. They both come with one. It comes with the Exo Crate, which is just a plastic insert with a couple of rod holders. The other one comes with this real elaborate rod holder configuration plastic crate that drops in. Very cool. It's almost done. I think it's like 70, 80 bucks just to buy that little product. And then the Exocrate one, this other version, I think it's only like 50. But they're both, you know, you get more little accessories is what causes a value of a uh, price of a kayak to go up. Now let's go flip it over and let's show you how why it tracks like it does. Now, like I said, this is a used kayak. It's dirty. Uh, it's got some drag marks where it's been dra drug across the concrete. Very well designed. As you see, that keel is why it tracks really well. Makes it very easy to paddle on the water. The little, art, see that line going all the way across? That's the keel. Now that keel allow is what makes the boat go straight. This one doesn't really have any rocker. Rocker is what makes the boat able to turn um, left and right um, more, more aggressively, like when you're on moving water, things like that. This doesn't really have one. It's really got a nice, you know, subtle keel. It goes all the way to the back, nice and flat. Yes, it's going to make it where when you're on lakes and streams, it's going to paddle very well. I like this boat for that. But it is exactly that. It's an entry-level kayak that's not going to break the bank, but you're going to have a so many memories with this kayak. you got to love it. All right, so before we stop and we get closed down, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video, and if you found this useful, one hit the subscribe button, join our community, but hit that thumbs up, let everybody know you like this video, and guys, we appreciate your support. We couldn't do this without you. We just hit our 6,000 subscriber mark, and we did it with your help. You sharing your videos, commenting on our videos, and just, man, it was, it's, been an, it's been an awesome experience. Now, before I forget, with kayaks like this, you gotta remember one thing first, safety. 
Make sure you do not hit the water, whether it's by yourself or with your kids, without everybody on in their boat having a life jacket on. A PFD is the most ex most like essential thing you can use. Uh, it will take a normal day and keep it from ending in tragedy and ending in great memories instead. That's what we want. We want you to go out there and have a great time, build memories, not scar your children for life that dad or mom drowned because they didn't have a life jacket on or they drank. So you don't need to do that. Have a fun day. This will be bonding experiences. Our boys have done this. Um, our oldest son is 21 now, it just hit 21. And he has memories back to when he was, he, was, he wasn't even old enough, he wasn't even swimming yet. And he was in a kayak with me. Those are great, great, very fond memories for both of us. Uh, my youngest son is now 11. He goes out, paddle boards, kayaks by himself, has a great time with us. Uh, and it's great to be able to put your kids in a kayak, know that since they have their life jacket on, you don't have to be right on top of them. You can let them paddle a little high, a little faster because they're going to be faster than you. You'd be amazed. And just allow them to explore and have fun. Uh, do the horse play where they're fooling around, trying to stand up and see how far up they can walk or how far back they can stand before they fall in. That's what it's all about, guys. That's what we want. We want you guys to have those experiences and to share them with us. So if you have some great photos, comment down below. Shoot them down over to us. Uh, we're on Facebook and on Instagram, and we would love to get to know each and every one of you better. But guys, you can pick these up, like I said, on all kinds of different places. All you got to do is look for them. I think it's a great boat, especially for the $300 price range. I don't know if there's one better. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by. And guys, whatever you do, make sure you take time this week to get outside. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. And stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.